Hey guys, so I decided to cut down the leaf because someone else got stung today. This is the nest that was on that leaf that stung me. Holy cow. <sighs> it's gone. So I sprayed it. I'm getting rid of it. I can't have this in the house. <laughs> it's gone now, so that's good. It's a, little that's kitty. Good. it's a little kitty here in the grass next to my miniature watermelon plant here. It's not big, but hopefully it does something. I don't know, it was flowering and it stopped flowering, but Hi, buddy. Hi, happy cat. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, he loves his collar. He does. He shows off to all his little buddies. He's like, yeah, it's my collar. Hi, baby. Oh, dear. Cute cat. Hi. You can see all the palm fronds that I actually cut off um, next to my foot. I mean, that's some big stuff here, but I cut off six of them in total. Um, to make the palm tree look a little bit nicer. Let's fix this collar here. It's so silly. There you go, buddy. Um, I gotta get through here with the weed eater, but you can see the tree definitely looks a lot nicer. Um, it's just a trachycarpus um, windmill palm here. And, well, in other words, just like cabbage palm type thing. Um, but yeah, you can see it's trimmed up there nicely. It's coming through. There is a really nice dragon tree behind. It's a trunking dragon tree. You just can't really see it a lot because of how big this tree is. This tree is going to grow a lot now, though. Um, it already has grown a lot out to the top. It just needs to grow up more. And then it will be quite a lot taller than this. So I'm not going to touch this, even though it looks a little clustered right now. In a couple more years, when this is 10 feet taller, then um, there's some thunder. That's cool, guys. Um, but yeah, when this one's taller, this one will be really nice. So anyways, yeah, just figured I'd show you that real quick. Oh, kitty, kitty. Oh, kitty, kitty. I love my cats. If you guys can't tell, I love animals so much. Dogs, cats, monkeys. Monkeys. Okay, so the sky got really dark. It got really black outside and you can see that there's a big old thunderstorm. Oh, see that lightning behind us? That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna show you I had a second wasp nest. So today is gonna to be all about wasp nests, spraying them and killing them and getting rid of them and stuff. Oh my gosh, I think that's flying a third around one. the light there. Man. You know what that's crazy. They get in any freaking place they can. Oh look at that. They've got a new nest up there already. That's number three. You know why? Because this is number two. And then we had the first one in that tree over there. Man, this one I already sprayed, so you can see that there's nothing flying around it. As much that is. But um that's craziness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Man, there's a big storm see coming. There, there's I all love those it. buzzards people call them. I just call them black um vultures. That's what they are. So you can see them all flying around there. That's really cool. Is that not like the coolest sky right there? I love that. Look up there. Oh, it's almost like a little sparrow. Oh, there's another one there. Cool. But yeah, look at the storm coming in, guys. Wow, there's more lightning there. That's cool. Hopefully it hits us pretty hard because we need some rain. Things are so this dry. It's not here. a palm tree. It's called a sago, um, which technically um, it's totally different than a palm tree. Um, but they've been around since the dinosaur times. This guy's really old apparently, like, really old. There's my male guy. A little bit late today. Um, you can see all, all the babies around there and stuff. Well, guess what? There was a palm tree there that I was trying to cut down because I thought, you know what, I don't need another cabbage palm. Um, kind of looks like this guy here. That's the one that I was just showing you right here, this guy. So that's what he's gonna look like. But there was one growing up here and I thought that didn't look so good. So I'm cutting it down. And while I'm cutting it down, I didn't realize all the sand here was full of fire ant nests. And oh my goodness gracious. Let me tell you, my feet were so sore for like a week and a half at least. It's craziness. Um, it's cool. We're not too far from an airbase as well. So I'm gonna show you this here. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing? giant US Navy planes flying through. By the way, I salute you guys and I'm thankful for you. I really am. Yeah, 
these guys fly over all the time. I mean, that's not zoomed in right there. That's really cool. Flying in the sky. But, yeah, so today's vlog is not going to be too exciting. But, bad. Nice and fitted, it looks like. So, let's see here from the side. Won't be that bad, actually. So it's nice. It's, once it's tucked into something, right, it'll be like bad, which is good. <laughs> All right, here's the next one, um, which I think looks really decent as well. So there we go. Side and stuff. Yeah, it looks kind of professional, which is nice. Um, that's what I'm looking for. It's just I don't have enough dress clothes. So yeah. Whoa, dropping. But yeah, I think that looks good. So, yeah. Inside, it's nice and cut too, so it's not super baggy or anything like that. So that's good. Here's the last one too. Um, nice and black. Um, room to grow too, so as I'm working out and stuff like that, it won't be so bad. Um, yeah, I think all three of these is probably a really good idea. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have 10 bucks off, which is good. Um, never have enough dress clothes, especially good stuff. Gotta turn this off for a second here. You guys don't want to see it anyway. This is my back tattoo though. It's pretty cool. See it there. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like my porn star tattoo. It's not. It's, it's not. I'm just kidding. I'm just looking around at Kohl's here. There's some nice towels that I want to put in my own house. Um, of course, you all know right now I'm not staying at my house um, because I've sold it. So I'm staying with family. But uh, yeah, I kind of like this one here. This one's neat. It's only $9 too. That's crazy. And of course, you've all seen the commercials with these here, right? Hell, that's not actually real and someone actually pulled that out so you can actually see how it's all tucked in like that. Um, see that they just kind of tuck it in like that and make it look better, but it's not real. That's so funny. Those are only 10 bucks too, and they're really soft. And yeah, Sonoma, come to Kohl's. <laughs> Most of they have this huge section. It's nice, I would never put one of these on. These are one of those toilet things, you know, that wraps around the toilet. Ugh. You know how much, many pathogens and germs and things that there are in there? Look at this. Do, 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 do. No shot list. I'm watching you. <laughs> we get to share some time together, which is cool. Um, the thunderstorm is cool. If this thunderstorm does come really good, then what I'll do is I'll take some video of it and include it for tomorrow's blog. Vlog. I got in trouble for calling my thing a blog once, so vlog. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that like uh, button on the bottom there, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. <laughs>